first off, um, what are some of the elements that go into producing a really compelling record? Good question. Um, first off, great to be here, and I uh, appreciate being here in the Berkeley Music Studios. <laughs> it's very nice. Um, I feel like I'm backstage, you know, <laughs> at a big concert somewhere. Um, okay, elements of effective records. There, there are many. You know, I, I like to look at, at uh, making records as an art form. And because that's really what it is, is an art form. So first and foremost, art moves us on an emotional level. Um, so the emotional aspect of, of records is something that we have to try and hold on to always. And it's very easy to lose sight of that because, um, you know, you get, it's such a long and arduous process to get through all the, all the other elements. But um, if we were to, you know, just to tick off the elements, uh, uh, or some of the elements that, that make effective records, you know, first off, obviously, you've, you've got to have some compelling material to record in the first place. So the songwriting, you know, if, if you're doing songs, you know, actually having songs that are compelling, that, that have something to say, that have a point of view, that have a point of some sort, and even if the point is that they have no point, at least they make that point really well, <laughs> rather than just leaving everybody a little, a little uh, bewildered or, or Worse yet, just having them check out after you know a, a verse and a chorus because it's it's really not you know going anywhere. Um, so the material is massively important, uh, and and that includes you know the lyrical content, it includes the melodic content, it includes the the form of the song. Um, you know, actually having a climax like like any other art that takes place over time, whether it's a, a TV show or a novel or an opera, or a jazz solo, you know, a, a record, um, a, you know, a track should have, uh, should have a climax. And once, once you do identify this, it can, it can help the whole rest of the record flow. It gives you the idea that you're actually headed towards something and that, you know, there is something to come. Um, the arrangement is, is massively important, you know, uh, everything uh, from the intro, to how the record unfolds, you know, does it keep, the, does it draw the listener in, and then does it keep our attention as we go forward? Um, looking at those things is really important. Uh, groove is massively important. Uh, it's almost impossible to, you know, to keep people engaged if if the groove is not good. Um, I, I believe it is the responsibility of of records to groove. You know, it's really part of what makes a record a record. And I'd be hard pressed to find any effective record, you know, in my collection and, and in most people's collection that don't that doesn't groove, you know. And that, that doesn't mean that it doesn't that it has to have a full band or a full program track. It might, you know, and that might be just great. But even if it's just you know an acapella, you know, there's there's a few records that are incredibly effective that are just a voice, and yet that voice, you know, really has what Don was would call an undulating pulse. That, that draws you in and, and gets you moving in that kinesthetic way. Um, then, of course, there's all sorts of elements uh, when you start getting into the sonics of the record. And I think a lot of people make the mistake of kind of starting there, you know, starting almost at the end with the sonics. Now, sometimes you, that, that may be the process. If you're, if you're doing something that's very beat-oriented, uh, a hip-hop track or, or a pop track that's, you know, that, that uh, has elements of house music or, or what have you. You know, you might be starting with the sonic part of the record and, and adding these other things in later. Whereas if you're a singer-songwriter, you know, the sonics is really something that, that's going to come in after you've got your material really up to snuff and, and started. One of the things that's, that's really fascinating about making records is that, you know, the elements are really, you know, in, in large degree the same for, you know, a real cutting edge uh, pop track as it is for more of a, of a you know, indie rock kind of uh, radio headish singer songwritery kind of, uh, kind of track. Um, the, the order in which you get to these things may be different and therefore um, in different genres it may be more common, you know, for, for certain things to be left a little bit by the wayside than in other genres. Um, but all of these things are, are really important. Obviously, the mix, you know, when we get to that to that point, uh, that's an incredibly important thing as well to get the mix right, to get the get things sitting in the right perspective, to where the intention of the artist, um, the identity of the artist, 
and, uh, and, and really the vision of the artist can really kind of become codified and be something that, that really does hold water.